so this is the continuation to our previous problem so we have calculated the t mean as 1875 in this uh, previous problem so after calculating the t mean we need to calculate the power so the formula for power is t mean into angular velocity omega so t mean value is obtained as 1875 multiplied by angular velocity so angular velocity we have calculated omega is equals to 2 pi n by 60 it is 26.2 radians per second so substitute that value so we got the power as 49125 watts in kilowatts it is 49.125 we need to divide that with 1000 so we got 49.12 kilowatts so next we need to calculate the coefficient of fluctuation of speed so the formula for coefficient of fluctuation of speed so we have the relation delta e is equals to m k square omega square cs so m is the mass of the flywheel k is the radius of gyration omega is the angular velocity and cs is the value which we need to calculate so in order to use this formula we need to calculate the maximum fluctuation of energy delta e so i have already told you that delta e is the energy excess energy which is above the t mean line so we have calculated the t mean as 1875 so at 1875 we have drawn one horizontal line so in this diagram the area above the t mean line which is in the hashed portion represents the maximum fluctuation of energy so if we calculate the hashed region area then we will be getting delta e value but in order to calculate the delta e value as i have explained you previously we need to convert the diagram into known shapes so here we have totally three blm triangle bcmn rectangle and cnp triangle so if we calculate all these three areas and if we add then we will be getting delta e but in order to calculate blm area so we know the height bm but we don't know the length lm that means crank angle lm we don't know so in order to calculate lm we will be using the similar triangles procedure so blm and bag are similar triangles right so lm which is the base of the smaller triangle by ag ag is the base of the larger triangle so lm by ag is equals to bm by bg so bm is smaller triangles height bg is larger triangles height so lm by ag is equals to bm by bg so let me repeat lm is the smaller triangle base by larger triangle base is ag is equals to smaller triangle height is bm divided by larger triangle height is bg so ag is pi nothing but the crank angle you can see at the bottom on the x-axis ag is pi similarly bm bm height is total height is 3000 minus you need to subtract that height below the t mean so the height below the t mean is 1875 so bm is 3000 minus 1875 divided by bg so bg is 3000 minus 750 so we got the lm value as 0.5 pi so similarly we have the triangles chd and cnp so as we have calculated above so here also we can use the similar triangle concept cnp and chd are similar triangles so by that we can calculate np which is also 0.5 pi So after calculating the unknown values, 
so we are calculating the areas of blm bcmn and cnp so area of lbcp lbcp is nothing but delta e is equals to area of blm which is the first smaller triangle plus area of mbcn mbcn is nothing but rectangle plus area of triangle cnp or pnc it is the area of the smaller triangle so the area of lbm is nothing but the area of the triangle is half base into height so half base is lm height is bm plus area of the rectangle bcmn is base into height nothing but mn into c sorry mn into bm or cn so plus area of triangle cnp is half base is np height is nc so we are substituting the values so half lm is already we have calculated lm as 0.5 pi so substitute lm value and bm is 1125 so bm calculation is so the total height is 3000 right so 3000 minus 1150 minus 750 will give us the value of height bm so it is around 1125 so half 0.5 pi into 1125 plus mn mn is nothing but the see here so mn at the crank angle if we see it is 2 pi so at the place of mn we have substituted 2 pi multiplied by bm so bm height is already we have discussed it is 1125 plus half np np is one second So NP is 0.5 pi that is also we have calculated NP is equals to 0.5 pi and CN height. So if you see the diagram CN height is same as the BM height which is 1125. So by substituting all those values we got the delta E value as 8837 Newton meter. So after calculating delta E, we need to substitute in the formula delta E is equals to mk square omega square cs. So we got the unknown value coefficient of fluctuation of speed as 0.071. So this is most important problem. So please remember this. This is very easy. So first we have calculated the area of the complete diagram. So complete diagram is a b c d e f so the total diagram area we have calculated so this is shown here so this is the processor which i have explained in my previous video i will give you the link at the below so first we have calculated the area of the complete diagram next step is we have calculated the t mean so the area above the t mean represents the fluctuation of energy and we have calculated delta E and after calculating delta E we have substituted in the formula mk square omega square cs for getting the unknown value cs. So hope you understand this problem. Thank you.